The words history and fun aren't often heard in the same sentence, but the residents of Fishtown are trying to break that mold. We're here today at Shadfest, the second annual Fishtown Festival that celebrates the historical and environmental significance of the Riverfront neighborhood. The festival aims to inspire the next generation of young people to get more involved in its community and its waterfront with exciting attractions like music, food, games, and other activities. And can you tell me a little bit about the um, history of Fishtown regarding the Shad? Well, I mean, uh, Fishtown is a subsection of uh, Kensington. There was a small little section above Penn Treaty Park from about Palmer Street up to the, the old creek where Aramingo Avenue is. And uh, the uh, original uh, settlers in that little area were Germans, German immigrants. And back then you could pay your taxes in fish. So these guys, and it was very easy business to get into. So all you had to do was to sew some nets together and cast them in the river. There were so many shad in the river in the 18th century that they said you could walk on their backs to New Jersey. And uh, so there was that many fish. So the, these guys were very prosperous and over the course of the 18th century and 19th century, they literally controlled the entire catch of the Delaware. And, uh, and that's why we're called Fishtown. Why are you here at Shadfest? We're here at Shadfest because it's a great community Great community festival. It celebrates an exciting part of, of Philadelphia's history, the fishing of the shad in Fishtown, and and it brings a lot of really great people together. That both people that we've already been familiar with and are familiar with cycling, and we've also happened to meet a lot of people who are new to cycling who have a lot of questions that we can help them out with here. What? activities such as arts and crafts, scavenger hunts, a moon balance, and a magic show were targeted at families and their young children to provide a family-friendly atmosphere on this beautiful day. Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great. Earlier there was a kid singing the band and so Jasper loves it. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see the people. Nice At least they got a good day. Just got here a little bit ago, but we're having a good time. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, and what's your favorite part about the Shad Fest? Um, probably just the fact that it's right by the river. Probably just the community outreach. I, I really think that um, when you see the diversity of the people that are here, it's all about this community and I think it's great. All of the proceeds gathered today go to the Penn's Treaty Park. It is clear to see that this year's Shad Fest has been a success that they are hoping will carry on for years to come. For Group 3, Section 4, this is Abby Rozier.